ULF is basically ultralight fishing, going as light as possible, targeting a variety of species, you know, with ultralight lures, you know, very light line and braid. So I think this uh, ultralight fishing has, has made its way back into fashion just because it's so family friendly and a lot of people can do it. From the young to the old, anyone can pick up a little seven foot rod and go and catch some species. So. With the summer we had and the weather patterns we had on the Kaysanen coast uh, this summer, it hasn't been it hasn't been fantastic. So this is definitely a way to you know you, you've got an hour or two just grab the light stuff, go down and go catch some fish. Okay, so basically we're throwing some ultra out stuff with the Berkeley lightning rod here, little Albuquerque here, Black Max, 12 pound braid, little 10 pound fluoro leader. Just trying to get a couple of species, hopefully we can do a better fish later on. Okay, so I like to fish a jig as light as possible as the conditions would allow me to. So I like fishing from let's say a 1 8 ounce up. The heaviest I, sh I would go is a, is a quarter ounce jig head. Um, I prefer a round, a round jig head like that. And then also something that's a bit different is a Berkeley snap jig. As you can see it's a very nice, very nice profile and it looks very nice as well. Not too forgiving in the bricks but very nice for, for fishing on the banks. Okay, so the reason I use the very light jig heads is all because of the action of the lure. You don't want something that's heavy, it's just going to go straight down, straight back up again. You want something to move with the waves and with the swell, with a bit of wash in the water. You want it to sort of uh, present as naturally as possible. I actually got stuck and a fish ate it off the brick, so let's see what it is. Stone brim, bit of a surprise, but managed to get another species. Get it back. So, what's very special about the ultra light fishing is the bite and the fight itself. So, we, when you throw it out there and you're just pausing that camera worm and the fish just hits it, it, it can be anything at that time. So, it sort of just gets your heart racing and gets you pumped up. The big thing with a, with a nice finesse style rod is you're throwing very, very small lures. As you can see there, it's a very small jig head. Uh, you're throwing very light stuff, so you need something that can still throw it quite far or far enough 
but yet you need you need a decent rod so you can if you're a bigger fish you can still you'll, you still have the ability to land it. a good fish. <laughs> so just throwing the lure out there, uh, the camera worm out there. Uh, this I just came back to the side and something absolutely smoked it. See what it is. Feels like a better fish. What I do like about the ultralight fishing is even though you, you're targeting small fish, when that bigger fish does come, it really tests your ability as an angler, you know, to fight the fish as, as well as you possibly can, you know, relying on your tackle and, and landing it. There's a beautiful little specimen of a GT on the ULF tackle, the ultralight fishing tackle. Uh, so awesome to get this fish in, this, in the bricks here. I would say it's, it is the best way to target a variety of species in, in a rocky area or even from the beach because it's so versatile, you know, almost anything can eat, can eat a little worm or a little shrimp of that size. So it's a very good way to go and target as much species as possible. So I can definitely see within the next few months there's going to be a lot of good fish caught. Uh, some big fish lost as well, <laughs> that's how it goes. But uh, I can't wait to hit the harbour and hit the rivers uh, to see what we can find out there.